Former Democratic presidential candidate John Edwards is in Haiti this morning, leaving behind a personal mess here at home. Yesterday, he finally revealed that he's the father of the baby born to his former mistress, Riel Hunter. But the trouble for Edwards may not end there. CBS's Whit Johnson is in Charlotte, North Carolina, Hunter's hometown this morning with the latest. Whit, good morning. Hi, Maggie. Good morning. Well, although Edwards has now made his bombshell admission, he's about to learn this fatherhood has fallout. John Edwards was once a rising political star, sharing the spotlight with Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. But shortly after his campaign for president fizzled out, his personal life started to fall apart amid revelations of an extramarital affair with his former campaign videographer, Riel Hunter. Not true. Not true. Published in a supermarket tabloid. But no, that's, that, that is absolutely not true. But after months of denying he fathered Hunter's child back in 2008, John Edwards finally came clean while visiting Haiti on a humanitarian mission Thursday. He released a statement admitting to being Baby Quinn's dad, confirming the story the National Enquirer broke back in December 07. He finally relented and took a DNA test, and it was at that time that he learned once and for all that he was the father of the child. New details are emerging about Edwards' involvement in his two-year-old daughter's life. According to our sources, his wife Elizabeth met the child without uh, the presence of uh, her mother, Riel, being there. Uh, it had to be a, an extremely emotional moment for Elizabeth. On Thursday, Elizabeth told the Associated Press she hopes John's admission puts this story to rest. I think that, um, you know, John feels relieved that this is behind him, uh, I'm pretty sure, and I think that, that our whole family feels relieved. But the story isn't over for John Edwards. He's been accused of using funds as hush money from his presidential campaign to keep his infidelity and love child secret. And Riel Hunter did release a statement through her lawyer saying we are extremely pleased with the senator's acknowledgement, which is both a positive and healthy step forward in Quinn's life. Maggie. Whit Johnson in Charlotte for us this morning. Thanks, Whit.